What's going on, Sagittarius? Welcome back to your weekly read. Before we get started, guys, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. If you're new to the channel and you dig this vibe, go ahead and subscribe. If this is your second time here, hit that subscribe button. You're part of the Soul Tribe. Everybody, make sure you got your notifications on so you know when these videos premiere and when your girl goes live. I am open for personal readings. You can book with me on my website. It's listed in the description box. So, yeah, Sagittarius. It's like when you know, you know, right? Um, I feel like you could be ghosting people or finding yourself in isolation at this time because you're realizing that the people that you were calling friends aren't your friend. I feel that you no longer, like you're tired of the fake love. Yeah, that's what it was. It was fake love. Four of cups to the eight of cups. You know, I got to write down. <laughs> So, yeah, um, it's just like you're tired of the fake love, okay, pretty much. Um, you This could be in a form of romance. This could be in friends. Hell, this could be you not having your heart in a, a work environment anymore and just realizing that, you know, it's time for a new feel or it's time for a change, right? Um, but there's something that you're aware of and, like, you know now. Like, I was going to write, like, once you see it, you can't unsee it. But that it's more like when you know, you know. And I feel like <clears throat> you've always had this, like, intuitive nudge or, like, you kept getting the signs. And I feel like, you know, you wanted to avoid them. But now it's inevitable. Like, you see something for exactly what it is. Um, you could be dealing with a Virgo, a Cancer, a Pisces. Okay. Capricorn. Yeah, you know that people are like tempting you out of your spot, you know, trying to keep you in a low vibrational energy and you're just trying to start fresh and anew. Like people keep coming in with all these new karmic contracts and I feel like you're learning the lesson here. Yeah, with this light card, the sun, Leo energy, you saw the signs and it opened up your eyes. You saw the signs like, yeah, and what you know, you can't like not know it anymore. 222 on my timer, like... You could be seeing that number, but it is what it is. Like, yeah. So, Divine Holy Spirit, what do we have here for Sagittarius for the next seven days? What does Sagittarius need to know for the next seven days? So, I was going to try to get more concise in the messages. That's always the goal. But, you know, when Spirit is speaking, when I'm channeling, I can't help how long the video goes. So, Cancer energy here. Um, something could be relevant with today, the 18th, right? But um, like I feel like you've been doing it in a work. Um, something was revealed to you that like it was an ugly truth, okay? And I feel like it could have pushed you into a hermit mode besides you ghosting people. But you could have been also sitting in this isolation and doing a shadow work here. And like now you're just looking around and you're realizing, you know, how people could have duped you or people like they weren't really for you. People were using you and giving bad advice and selling you false dreams and stuff like that like and you're realizing this and I mean it's feeling like I don't know why like my nose is getting tingling like I feel like I want to cry like I don't know what's going on Sag but there's this feeling and the spirit is like that that's enough like it, it, it feels sad like you I feel like you feel let down like you you can't believe somebody would like really do you like that or really be like that or you thought that whatever this was was true. Okay, Divine Holy Spirit, what do we have here? For Sagittarius. Okay, y'all have a massive eye. Really don't want to take this, but Spirit is like sad, y'all. Y'all starting off with the shits. Okay, we got two nines out here. Journey yourself. I'm telling you, you could have like. You could be in isolation right now or ghosting people. You could be dealing with a Virgo or a Gemini here. What's under here? Or a lion, <laughs> a Leo. Somebody could be lying as well. Like you could have found out somebody was lying, okay? You could be seeing 998, okay? Close to 999. Like the cycle is about done. Like you're you're at the tip top, okay? Like treetop, tip top, high. Like <clears throat> at the peak of something. Like you're so over something right now. I feel like the month of August is going to be 
like major changes for you here where you're really yeah you're really cutting people off here with this intuition with this pisces energy like i feel like you're receiving the messages the downloads things are very clear to you i feel like somebody could have been causing a blockage trying to block your third eye and your crown chakra so that you couldn't see them for who they really were but you have now i feel um this card right here is i feel like it's very important that's going to help really drive it home but before i flip this over right i really feel that you know you this could even be something here where you realize that somebody made you abuse your power or somebody was abusing their power with you or was like abusing you like using you for what you had i'm hearing and you can use me till you use me up and i was just like i feel you could be ghosting people, or whatever, because it's like you could just be like, damn, like I never thought people would do me like this, or I never thought this person would do me like this. Like, I don't know if you like turn your back on other like someone or something else for somebody or whatever, or whatever. Like, maybe if like this was a job opportunity, you chose you chose this job because, you know, again, they sold you a good dream. It sounded good. Maybe everything was starting off good on, you know, at the beginning, you know, like in the first eight weeks, but then, or eight days. And then once you hit day nine or whatever, or the ninth week, whatever, things just like come to shit. Like it just switched. Like, I feel like something switched so quick. <clears throat> it was like not reading the fine print. And I feel like now that you're sitting in a solitude or as time has been going on, like you done found the book and you're, or you're finally sitting down and you're reading the manual or whatever, and you're reading the fine print, you're reading the contract and you're reading the fine print and it, and it really sucks, right? I feel like at the end of the day, nobody knows it but you. I'm hearing that song. Nobody knows it but me, okay? Like you, you're you going through it. But with this power car here, it's like the universe is saying like, you have the strength to overcome whatever this is, to make whatever it is right. That's why you know that shadow side. So it's like with you realizing what is going on and like finally being open to receiving the message and the downloads, you now have the power and the strength to fix this or to move forward to get back on a better foot here. Yeah, look, balance. Tell me, Libra energy. The universe is really trying to show you something. I also feel that, you know, if you're not using your intuition with that too, and this balance here breaks down to a two, if you want this balance, you need to listen to your intuition. Like your intuition is trying to guide you with this too, to separate out, you know, the wheat from the shaft or whatever, the sheep from the, the sheep or whatever is trying to separate that out. That two is trying to separate out to that one, one for this balance. Okay. But this is something that at this point you have to go at it alone, like, this is a journey of self, you know, you healing yourself, like not being able to hide from it, really having to face reality, having to face the people you didn't want to face, you know, face that inner childhood wounds. Like it, you have to, right? And like your intuition is guiding you that way, especially if you want this balance in your life. So we have Virgo, Gemini, Leo, Libra, and Pisces energy out here. I'm going to leave this like this. So let's get the tea, guys, because I'm already seeing right now, like, your message is juicy. Yeah, I feel like you could have been dusting something off, or it's like, now that you have, like, that book, the contract, you've dusted it off to finally read it, and you're realizing that somebody is a wolf in sheep's clothing. They're not who they said they were or portraying to be. Somebody gassed you up and lied to you real bad. And, yeah, and this could be because you're receiving some sort of bad karma or you're watching this person receive bad karma, Okay. What is this? Yeah, love on a brain. A fantasy. Somebody sold a dream that didn't turn out the way you thought. And I mean, essentially, that is bad karma because you allow somebody to play you. We all been there. Trust me, I've been there. Okay. You get lost in somebody's eyes or it sounds too good, you know, and not for nothing. I'm older now or have been through, you know, things enough where I realize, look, not for nothing. Majority of times, if it sounds too good to be true. It's probably too good to be true. Like, I ain't going to say that some things don't come easy and, you know, whatever. But, yeah, there, if it sounds too good to be true, it is. Because we got to catch in the case right here, okay? Sagittarius. We got sexual infection, sexual disease, a rash. Cock blocking.
if you've been wanting to sleep with somebody and it hasn't been happening, it's for a reason. It's because they got something major going on, okay? You or them. Somebody needs to clear up some sort of infection or sexual disease that they got. Or again, this could be with that shadow side, somebody going in and handling, you know, like a sexual addiction or, you know, trying to cleanse off a sexually transmitted demon that they have or something like that. But this could be the universe again, because there's I'm looking at five cards. All right. And four of them are majors. It's like the universe is comp blocking the situation because somebody has caught a case or they have like this sexually transmitted demon on them. All right. Or again, somebody ain't nothing but trouble. Like, there's a reason why something's not working out with somebody or why you're not supposed to be dealing with somebody. And it's either literally they're catching a legal case or this person has a true medical case going on. We've been seeing a lot, you know, with hospitals and stuff and whatever. Or again, this person has a demon on them that needs to be cleansed off or whatever. Or like that they need to learn to shake or they have something on them that they can't shake. And this is why. Like, or maybe, maybe like you could even be with this person. Say you're with this person. This is somebody you met or whatever, right? And you want to sleep with this person. But every time, you know, you think that the time is right and you're about to jump the sack, right? Something always go wrong or the the timing is never right. Y'all can't ever meet up. It's because somebody, something's going on with the other person. Something's going on with them or whatever. Okay. Or there's a reason or it's like you messing with this person is going to, he the he the warning, Sag. Like if don't somebody got something. It's a reason why you're not linking up with somebody, okay? Or if somebody keeps pressing and pressing to want to have sex with you, right? Don't do it. Like say no because this person they trying to give you something, something that you really can't get rid of. Yeah, it's the same shit, different day. Like somebody who keeps begging and begging. Oh, I want it. I want it. Oh, you got time for me? Oh, we could do this, 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 this. Because they're trying. They're trying. I'm seeing more of side effects and trauma. Somebody is trying to give you what they got. Somebody don't want to be alone. <laughs> yeah, but you're not interested. I'm telling you. And this person is going to keep trying and trying and trying. Yeah. You know this person has a bad reputation. They be out here in the streets. And it's like, you might, you know, why not? For the most part, you know. Who doesn't like easy? You know, things that come easy. But I feel like you're understanding and you're learning that this type of easy is not what's up. Because this type of easy comes with diseases. Yeah, and you have proof of this. You already know this. I heard I get around. You heard, you know somebody gets around. Yeah, and that's why you're running. You want no parts. You want nothing to do with this energy here. But they're after you. Yeah, like you have a lot of evidence. You know a lot about this person. A lot, a lot, but they're after you. They're they're watching you, stalking you. Okay, yeah, this person with this bad reputation. Somebody else could be trying to get evidence on you and trying to flip a script on you and trying to say that you did something because you're not fucking with them. You want nothing to do with them. Okay, you could be suffering in silence because of what somebody has done to you, and you're you're just like like I said, you can't believe that somebody would do this, right? But it's like you're eight, you can balance this out, you know, just you can get through this. OK, like you truly can. Like, just listen to your intuition. Like, I feel like you have been. Somebody is like really sad. I don't know. Somebody received some bad news. Yeah. Keep moving silence. I'm hearing embarrassment like somebody's embarrassed. I'm here. I can't believe it. Ooh, ooh, she all on me, on me. Yep, yep, I think she want me. Now I can't leave her lonely. Somebody put some sort of sex magic or try to do some sex ritual or some shit on you. Yeah, it's like you broke out of something. Like you realized something. What is this? I'm over silence, pop up. Because this person's stalking you and they're crazy and they're obsessive. Yeah, and they're starting drama. Somebody wants to really come and make it hard for you. I feel like you could be trying to leave somebody or a group, a friend group or something, and they're like either trying to blackmail you or set you up where you're stuck with them. I'm here. You're, gonna be, you're stuck with me. You're mine. 
Oh my gosh. Yeah. What a dirty offer. I'm telling you, don't don't mess with this person, Saj. If you feel intuitively you should not be messing with this person or you know something up, don't do it. Like for my fellas, if you meet up with a chick or whatever, whatever your preference is, right? And your man's your man's in them, right? Your man's don't get up. Don't force your man's up. Your man's is like, nah, bro, something wrong here. Okay? Like, listen to that, okay? For my ladies, if it's like she not, you know, lubing up or, you know, whatever, like there's complications and trying to connect the pieces, don't force it. Or you just, I don't know, be thankful that your menstrual showed up, right? Like there's a reason why this is happening because somebody is really trying to present you with a dirty offer right here, okay? Somebody's trying to get you sick. Somebody's trying to put some sort of demon on you, get you caught up. Okay, yeah, dusting it off. This is somebody that you... Hell, you probably don't even fuck with this person like that, but they trying to come back around on the simple fact that they know that, I don't know, you're moving on, you're leveling up. Or again, because you don't fuck with this person, maybe, and they're trying to come back around because they want to know who you fucking with or if you're trying to go and fuck, fuck around or whatever, I don't know. But this is like, this dust off energy is giving me like, somebody also could be trying to bring up some old shit. Yeah, because their ego is hurt. Somebody trying to bring up some old shit. I don't know. Somebody trying to blackmail you. So I'm saying, you know, if you're a Sag out here who did catch a case, right? I'm just saying. I feel like you could have tried to get away from whoever this drama starter was. Like, you know, essentially who this person was and you're suffering. I feel like you didn't want to expose whoever this energy was. So you just try to separate yourself. You try to like ghost them, try to like just move it, move away from them, leave them alone. But this person is like on you. They they won't let you go. Like they won't stop. And I feel like this person is trying to blackmail you and say that they'll expose you for giving this out and passing it around. But it's like, it's the same shit, different day. And it's all because you don't want somebody. Somebody's trying to blackmail you and say that you're the person who's out there giving out diseases or something like that or something wrong with you and that's why you've just been trying to move in silence and get away from this person like you know that yeah travel you know that this person is crazy this person will go to great like go to great extremes to like hurt you and the people around you yeah somebody also could um i don't know why i got sex worker that was weird because they're broke somebody's not getting paid anymore somebody needs to get paid they looked at you like one of their biggest clients, but I don't think you realized that this person was treating you like that. You could have just thought that maybe you met somebody and everything was cool. You know, maybe you thought y'all were like dating or whatever, you know, have a little sex here and there or whatever, you know, go out to eat, you know, you had no problem, you know, like investing in them or whatever, because maybe you were trying to see if this was going somewhere and the whole time this person was using you because they do this with everybody. And they travel around to do this. You can have, you can now have evidence of this. And now this person is trying to blackmail you though, and try to say, "Well, the this I got this, and this is going around because of you. You gave it to me." How somebody might even come and tell you that they got something going on, and say that you gave it to them, and you don't even know you got that shit. And you're gonna find out you have, and then it's gonna make you wonder where the hell you got it from. What's going on? Yeah, this is a legal issue. Somebody, see, and that's the thing. Same shit, different day. This person knew damn well that they had that shit. And they gave it to you anyway. And then now they're trying to make it seem like that they don't have it. Or you gave it to them. And there, I feel like there's proof here where there's other people that this person has slept with, like prior to you, who has the same condition. Yeah, this ego hurt ass person. This person about to get sued. They about to get fucked up real bad. If it's not by the true like three D legal system court, like pe people suing them for emotional distress and like giving them the, because this is a it's a, a offense. Like it's a crime to like give people STDs when you know you have them and you don't tell them you have them and they end up catching it. It's a freaking crime. I don't know why people think it's a joke. Like it's a crime. People can press charges and sue you. For emotional distress, bro, like certain certain things that you give folks that they can't get rid of and like they got to pay for like medical care and stuff, the trust, you can get sued because that's fucked up. Like you got like a really nasty energy 
on your hands here, Sag. And this person is like so butthurt. And I feel like, yeah, you do. With this force or energy here, forces things on you, forces their way in, uses force to get what they want. Somebody determined to make it seem like you're the one who did this. Yeah, we got a girl fight. This, so I'm talking to a man or a woman who's dealing with a man or a woman, okay? <laughs> this person could literally, like, want to argue with you. They could always argue with you, always competing with the next person or, you know, trying to stay, trying to figure out what you got going on so they can compete with whatever you got going on. So say if it's like, say this like your little whoop de whoop right? <laughs> See a little whoop de whoop I'm hearing somebody really on that stupid shit. That dumb type of timing. Anyway, this say this your little whoop de whoop right? And maybe, fellas, because I'm, I'm seeing more so of that. This your little whoop de whoop right? And maybe, you know, you done met a woman that you know you really want to give a chance to. You're not sleeping with her or anything, you know. It's just that you really value this woman's mind. It's not just what, you know, physically, she may be physically stunning, uh, you know, because for many, I'm very visual. So she's physically stunning. But what really got you was that this woman is very intelligent, right? She got things going on. You're very intrigued by this woman. You want to get to know this woman. Maybe, you know, you cutting your whoop de whoop off because, you know, you want to really do things right with this new woman, you know, this empress that you met. Your whoop de whoop is mad and it's trying to, and it's about to come on and be like, oh, well, I got this and I got it from you and I'm going to tell everybody and blah, blah, blah. And I'm a, who, who's the new chick? Yeah, I'm about to ruin that. I'm going to tell them to like it. The whoop de whoop is upset. Okay. The whoop de whoop is upset and wants to fight. But I also feel like this is also the energy here of this whoop de whoop trying to force something on you. And make you at fault for something. Honestly, I see that you got a double case going on, Sag. You got a case of somebody giving you a sexually transmitted disease knowingly. And you got a case of defamation of character. Because they're about to try. Yeah, because they're butt hurt. Because this is somebody who's upsetting her. Yeah, Sag, y'all had butt hurt last week. Here, here, here we go. It's rolling out more. Okay. Yeah, this person is upset. They want to hurt you. They want to hurt everybody around you. You better not leave them. Oh, my gosh. They can't believe it. You figured it out. No, I'm going to flip it on you, Sag. I'm not going down for this. And this, I feel like this person was that the head person who did this shit. They set all of this up, even you. Even you. You didn't know it. It was a selfish Jezebel. Honestly, I almost didn't come on today for two reasons. One, it's my baby's birthday. And two, my voice. I'll give my voice a rest. That's why I was like, I'm hoping these readings go quick. Yeah, you, this groupie bitch. There's a groupie bitch out here. Yeah, this person who wanted the trauma and tried to give you something. They're thinking of the side effects. And this person, they can't. I'm hearing, I don't want to live alone. Like, this person... They don't want to be alone or they don't want to have this alone. I feel like somebody has something really bad here. Or they're up against some serious legal issues. And they don't want to go down alone. Like, I feel like somebody's trying to take you down with them or take you out with them. Something like that. Yeah, it's a happiness hater. They don't want to see you happy. I feel like, like I said, ooh, child. Who had that line between love and hate? Scorpio. You got Scorpio on your chart or dealing with a Scorpio? Yeah, this person doesn't like the fact that you're, like I said, you went within, you read the contract, you got your downloads. You're, you're getting yourself on your path and doing what you're supposed to be doing. You're realizing all of, um, uh, for lack of words, right? <laughs> you're realizing all the mistakes you have made. And you're trying to, like, rectify things in your life 24-24 on a timer. And make things right. Yeah, so you're just out here busy dodging bullets. You're you're not trying to deal with none of this shit. And some, like I said, you you went ghost. You're getting your life together. And I feel like, you know, late at night when all the world is sleeping, you sit up and you cry. You think about what the hell's going on. You're doing that shadow work. And somebody knows. Like, I feel like somebody was worried about the day that you would wake up and realize what the hell was going on and who they really were. Yeah, child services. This is somebody who's very abusive. You could have a child with this person. 
a son, but you're realizing like how neglectful and how abusive somebody is, how controlling, like how somebody is just, they're scum, that's scum, that's scum. Like I, I have no better words for it other than the fact that they're scum. Yeah, and this is somebody that you could have been in a love triangle with. This could be a third party energy or somebody, like I said, could, that explains why I said you got this person that you really want to pursue and they will not let you go. Like they're a third party. They're in your ass. Like they refuse to watch you move on. Like they do all this blackmail bullshit and oh, I'm going to tell them that you did this and this, this, this. And it's like, what? Chill out. For what? Yeah, this person has low self-esteem, bro. Right. Seek someone to perform a learner to do a hex or break up. To do a hex breaking ritual. Yeah. Sex magic. I told you this person was trying to keep you stuck. Stuck with like terrible demons. Like this person wants you to be like them. I'm seeing like, you know, I've been for those of you who know, who who rock with me, who solid, right? I was watching Vampire Diaries. And it's like, um, in the final season, pretty much the Salvatore brothers, well, Damon, he was already there um, working for the devil. And they stepped in so that the, the tw little twin Gemini witches, so that they wouldn't be sacrificed and have to go and work for the devil and do the devil's deeds, which pretty much was to... Um, Bring him the souls of people who have done terrible things or whatever. And it's like this person, they work for the devil, but they do things and they try to tank people. It's like they're the ones who's going around trying to tank people so that way they would so that way the devil could have their souls. And they were trying to get you to be like their partner. To help them go around and tank people like I feel like this person could have something very serious like I'm. I'm getting on the levels of like HIV, AIDS, okay? Like somebody could have syphilis and know that they have it and they're secretly trying to go around and give it to other people because syphilis is like that silent, can be like one of those silent STDs that can go un, you know, unnoticed or like, you know, it might be like, oh, it's a little, so, oh, it resolved on its own, but in reality, it didn't resolve on its own. Like people will see like an infection come and then see it disappear and think that it resolved. And when it pop back up, you're in like a final stage and your ass is in a hospital and you're dumb sick. Like, I feel like it's something like that. Somebody's going around on that type of timing and it was trying to get you such to be on that type of timing with them. I'm here. Yeah. Spying on you as a part of your daily routine. But I'm hearing like y'all supposed to be the dynamic duo. It's giving that Bonnie and Clyde energy. Like, like this person wanted you to work for the devil with them. Yeah, Mars retrograde. Impulsive rage of anger, hostility, major blowouts, fights, and violence. Like, this is a, a forcer. And they're very angry and they're upset at you. Look, and an energy vampire. Oh, my Lord. That is like one of the scariest eyes. But excessively demanding your attention and emotional support. Yeah, they're an energy vampire. That's what I'm saying. They're pissed off. They're a groupie. <laughs> and a happiness hater. And they're upset. And instead of crying to the Lord to heal them and fix them, they, they're crying and pissed off and screaming to the devil, how can I hurt them and take Satch down? Yeah. They're out here spreading rumors on you. I'm telling you, somebody out here trying to blackmail you or say that you're you're the one. You're out here doing this shit. And the reality is them. You're sitting suffering in silence because I feel like you're trying to keep their secret or some shit like that. But the Lord is saying you have the power to balance all this out. Follow your intuition. I feel like you could be getting the downloads. You read something or you seen something or found out something here where it's like, no, now you know the truth. You know the truth about, you know, who, who gave a case out or whatever, whatever. Yeah, because... And I, because you know this now, you know the truth. That's why this person out here spreading rumors about you. They're turning others against you because now they got to make you look like the bad person. Because regardless of whatever, this energy, whoever this is, they're going to stay in a good light. They're never going to admit that they have this disease or anything. Like, even still, if you'd be like, yo, this person gave it to me or I was sleeping with them. Everybody can know that you were sleeping with this person. But they're still, I don't, I, I'm hearing doctored. They're still going to... Tell people, I don't have it. This person could have some made up STD like panel results. They could have some like fake results that they're going around flashing in people. Yeah. 
Like, while you got your proof, this person's going to come. And it's crazy. It's like that old school Polaroid cam camera. Somebody going to come up with some old results that they got, like, the date changed on or something. But these are results from when they were actually clean. They're not. These are not new results. Or they know somebody who can, like, print them out fake results. Like, they, they got fake results and they're, they're trying to just point this all to you. Yeah, yeah, Amethyst. Okay, psychic protection controls spiritual energies while dreaming and can help with insomnia and nightmares. I feel like this person is like, they're up late at night. They actually project into your dreams. You might want to own you a piece of amethyst, right? Keep it by your bed or under your pillow. I'm just saying. But yeah, like they, they could be like trying to, yeah, and it's like vampire tea. They're trying to siphon your energy in a dream state. See what you got going on, okay? See what messages you're getting. Why are you leaving them alone? They're trying to call you in as well. Something with like somebody could wear like the smoky eye or this person is very, very tired. Like they don't sleep. They could have bags or black circles or something around their eyes because they don't sleep. Or again, I'm getting that raccoon energy. You know, raccoons usually like the bandit, like this person stills. Yeah. And they're trying to get you to act out of character. They want you to act up so that way you can seem guilty or whatever. But mm -mm, I don't like this so much. Where they at, Sag? We're going to go beat them up. Like, <laughs> this is not okay. Like, somebody, mm -mm, that's okay. Karma going to have that ass. What else, Spirit? Yeah, own worst enemy. You cause most of your problems or most of the bad things that happen to yourself. Yeah, this person is their own worst enemy. Like, they're digging themselves in a bigger and deeper hole. Like, with all the things that they're trying to do. Because I feel like there's other people who are willing to come up and speak against this person with you, Sag. Okay? Or there's somebody else who's sitting in the corner like you are trying to figure out what the fuck. Okay? Yeah. Then they mock you. <laughs> they mock you when they feel jealousy towards you. I'm telling you, this person's going around lying and saying, oh, yeah, Sag trying to say I'm this. I'm a groupie. I'm that. But Sag is burning and blah, blah, blah. How do you know that unless you're burning with Sag too? Or you know that you gave it to Sag. Because what if Sag didn't even announce and let people know that they were burning, right? Or what if Sag didn't even know they were burning? But you going around talking about how Sag is burning. And the only reason why you know Sag is burning is because you gave it to them. This shit is crazy. They laughing at you, talking about you. Look at this. The person causing you negativity is an earth sign, okay? Get a dream catcher and hang it over your bed. I told you this person's astral projecting. They're they're trying to tap into your dream state, see where you're going, what you're trying to do, what messages God are, God is giving you. Okay, yeah. Look, and they're secretly jealous and hating on your romantic relationship. I'm telling you, if you're dealing with somebody new or you're trying to, this could be somebody a group of you was messing with in the past. If you're dealing with somebody new or whatever, they're they don't like that. I'm telling you, they they have plans to ruin and sabotage everything. Like. I'm, somebody's crying and looking in the mirror. Like, what the fuck? And so far, it ain't been nothing but woman on this table. With the exception to this one that might be trans. And nothing against her. Nothing against anybody. But I, I see, I'm seeing what I'm seeing. So, what else? Fire, here you go. All right, but Ray Charles to the bullshit. They're turning others against you. But I feel like, for the most part, a lot of people aren't even paying this person any mind. Okay. I always see that and see Ray. Somebody could also be rocking Ray Bands. But like I feel like everybody's still Ray Charles to the bullshit because it's like they know this person like something's up. Like I feel like this 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 isn't the first time. I'm hearing this isn't the first time. They always saying this shit. Like they always doing something. They always saying some wild shit. Like, I feel like this person has been making up so many, like, wild-ass delusional stories that people are starting to finally look at them and realize that, yo, that don't make sense. That don't add up. Wait, what do you mean Sag is burning? Like, Sag didn't know that. Like, yeah, when I asked Sag about it or whatever, when I brought it up to them, they, they didn't know. They weren't aware. What do you mean Sag was out here burning and giving it to people? But you're not burning? Like, people are putting it together and realizing that something is wrong with this person, okay? Something is completely up. Yeah, you could be waking up with unexplained body welts, bruises, or scratches. Like I said, this person's attacking you in your dream state, okay? Um, Somebody could be a part of the pride community. Like I said, I saw trans out here. This person might be, they might swing both ways, okay? 
Well, again, it's, I mean, if you're dealing with somebody who is, you know, of the, of the pride community, then shit. There you go. Or this person likes to do role play or dress up or something like that. Yeah, causing you to lose your appetite. I'm telling you, this person seeing out for nothing, you being <laughs> causing you to lose your appetite because, like I said, you could be finding out that the Sag, unless you have stuff with this person and you're wondering, some of you might need to go take a test. You might need to go get tested because somebody might have really gave you some shit. And the crazy shit is, is you don't know this, but they're going around and telling other people that you gave it to them because maybe somebody else has called them out on it. So they're trying to say, oh, well, I got it from Sag. And Sag, I don't think you know that you got this. You're sitting here suffering in silence and don't even know that you got this. But I feel like when you open up your mouth and you speak out and you're like, look, I didn't even know. And you finally go and like get some test results. That's where your power steps in. And that's when this person gets locked up and in trouble and shit like that. What else? This is a copycat and bitch. I said it how I said it. They try to copy the image of whoever it is that you're trying to date. Like they want to be like the person, whether it's a man or a woman, it don't matter. They want to be like this energy. They're trying to be just like you and do everything you do. But this is that groupy type of shit. Like they look up like, so with this, especially with this getting evidence, this proof. Say you're dealing with somebody, right, Sag? They'll go and look this inner, this energy up, this person. And they'll like start dressing like them. They'll try to find videos or whatever to hear how they speak. They'll start talking like them. They'll go and find mutuals or start befriending people that they're friends with so that they can get information on them. And they'll start changing up and start acting like this person because they want you to pay attention to them and not that person. And then it's like once you start paying them attention, they try to sway your mind here to make you believe that. The person that you're really dealing with is copying them. And when they react, Sag, look, let me let me show you something. Let me learn you something right quick, right? If you haven't figured this out about this person, so maybe, you know, they got away with doing it to one person, right, of your past. Because I said, for some of you, this could be somebody you have a, a job with, okay? Because we got love triangle. This is a third party. They're always third party. And I feel like they're, they're a famous home wrecker, okay? So if you want to... If you're really trying to figure out, though, if it's this person. So say, like, if this person was trying to say, like, maybe you was with somebody before, right? And it was like, oh, your person keeps copying me, blah, 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 blah. So maybe, you know, you stop fucking around with that person. You know, you did that person dirty and stop fucking around with them because you was listening to, you know, whoever this is, right? Now you get with somebody new who's completely different than the last person you was with, right? This new person that you're trying to date. Take heed and notice how they're starting to switch up and act like this new person you're with, who may be totally different from the last person you just left. That should let you know something. Because now they're coming and they're showing up like this new person you're with when they was just acting like this old person and try to say this old person was copying them. But now you're no, now they're going to come to you and be like, why your new bitch want to be like me or why your new dude trying to act like me? No, they're the copycat. They find out who you're with. They do research on them. They stalk them. Everything else under the sun. To get all that they can. And if they could freaking get a a replicated skin suit, they put that shit on and look exactly like this person. But you're, you're, you're going to notice because they're going to be just like this person. Yeah, look, and it's unintentional. They don't realize they are sending you the evil, like the evil eye with their words and their actions. It's like they don't. I feel, this person could be possessed. Oh, she got a candle too. Somebody was playing this some shit. This person could be possessed. That's where them dark eyes is coming from, too. Yeah. And then they mock you when they feel jealousy towards you. And then they talk shit. They talk shit about the person that you're dealing with or who you're into or who you're around. But in the same breath, they copy this person. And then say, oh, they want to be like me. Oh, da, 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 da. And it's like, no. Like, you just went and jacked somebody entire stilo. And then clown them for, first off, this is giving the energy where they clown somebody for being away or having a certain style or looking away to turn around and jack that entire stilo so that way they can come and attract you, Sag. This is weird. You might need some lavender sage here. It clears away negative thoughts, energies. It harmonizes the mind, enhances your intuition, and inspires those loving feelings, right? Keep that heart chakra moving open. I feel like that's what's happening with you. Like, you've been suffering long enough, especially when I look at that power and that lion. He got that green eyes. Somebody could have green eyes, yeah. And the, your significant other is sending you negativity. Yeah, this is somebody that you was dealing with. This third party energy or whatever. 
This is this is who's doing this because they don't want to be a third party, but they're they're third party energy. They're a groupie. You're always gonna be a third party energy. Look, scorn love, an old fling of your current recent ex partner, or just this could be your own old fling, who who feels deep pain or rejection or betrayal. Like, yeah, because you won't make them number one. They're always gonna be the third party. This person's upset and they're bitter. Okay, um, let's remind you why you don't need to give a fuck. Well, this is intense. Okay, um, just heed your call and just listen to what's being told. Like, you're being guided to balance this situation out. Um, I feel like this person is really, like, becoming, like, extremely exposed at this time, okay? And you have all rights to walk away from this energy. I see why you are. Um, and if you were wondering, I feel like this is a confirmation message for you. Like, if you were wondering, like, if it's really dumb, yeah, it's really dumb. And I, like, now that you really know what you know, you can't unknow this anymore. Like... You can't unknow this. If you want this balance, you have to separate from this person. And hell, you might have to take this person to court. Okay? You really might. Because somebody is really trying to do the most to, like, hurt you. Okay? Hurt you. Hurt those around you. Like, somebody is a broken little child. And it's like, we got a grown... Alert, alert, Sag. There's a grown-ass adult walking around here with a broken-ass child in the inside that they refuse to heal. And instead of working on themselves and healing themselves, they're going to go and try to destroy any and everything and everybody that they touch. Okay? So, you're doing the right thing by walking away and realizing that somebody really didn't care about you and that they got some demon or they're just out to, like, hurt you or hurt everybody else around. They're doing stuff for their own selfish gain, their own selfish needs. So, you have every right to walk away and, like, realize that you don't want to deal with a situation anymore. Okay? Yeah. Game over. Do, 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 do. Somebody play Pac-Man, okay? Yeah, because it's a party in your heart, all right? Like I said, you're starting to, you're recognizing, real recognize, real, and you recognize that somebody, you know, is full of fake love, and you're not doing it anymore. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Y'all could probably see my little, <sighs> I'm not even going to say what I want to say, because that is like, so whatever. Yeah, don't care, <laughs> don't care if you don't like me, yeah, like, and I feel like you don't care, Sash. Continue to, like, not give a fuck, okay? Like... Again, no fake love. You don't care. That's what I said. You don't want the fake love. So you don't care if somebody don't like you because you rather people like openly just not like you than come and smile up in your face and not like you for real, for real. Like, fuck that fake love. It's okay to not be okay, Sag. We all, we all have those days when we're not okay. It's okay to not be okay. Find something that brings you joy and peace. Call up a good friend. I don't know. Somebody that you trust. In worst case scenario, just get you a therapist. Because, you know, more than likely it's somebody you don't know. You can always switch if they're saying shit that you don't want. You know, that's not in alignment to who you are as a person, right? Try that better, better living. Try it, okay? Yeah, and stop complaining because it is what it is. All right, you doing the suffering in silence. It's time for you to like put those big boy pants, big girl panties on and go out and do what you need to do. All right. Yeah, don't turn back. Do not go back to whoever this fucking karmic is or whatever. Like, you know what it is. Like, you face enough challenges and you have more obstacles ahead of you that you need to worry about. Don't worry about this person. Okay. Yeah, do what you love. All right. That's, a, that's what I'm saying. Like, go do what you love right now. Even if what you love to do is go sit by the river and skip rocks. If that was a favorite time for you, like a peaceful moment, go do that. You know, if painting, dancing, singing, learning a new instrument, um, cooking, uh, riding a bike, going for walks, right? Um, I don't know, crocheting, knitting. Hell, binge watching comedy series. If that is something that you love to do, do that. Okay? Like, you're you're in this healing process right now and I can feel it child yeah and stop repeating the same thing again and again and again because somebody want I feel like you've already been through this cycle and somebody wants to put you back through this shit again okay I don't understand yet I'm a genius and it's like I feel like you've been receiving the downloads and the messages so much and it's like I feel like if you're here listening it's like you're you're not a hundred percent sure like are they really do yes yes if you've been wondering why your life's been falling apart or why things go left and all, it is this person. Whoever it is, the significant other or an earth sign out here, it is this person. We got Virgo that done showed up with the hermit, okay? 
They could have Libra. They got Pisces, Gemini, or Leo in their chart. Okay, this could be an August Virgo for all I care, for all I know. Yeah, because I'm not always an angel. And I feel like at one given point, you know, you was on the dark side, but now you're, you're realizing, like, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Sorry, not sorry. And this bitch ain't sorry, so you shouldn't be sorry either to walk away and let them go because it's time for you to relieve the pressure. You might go off on this person. If you do, don't feel bad. I feel like they deserve it. If you got to sue this person, if you got to take action, do that. Like, you don't just have to be good to somebody who's being a fucking demon to you. Step, oh, thank you, spirit. Look at this. See how it's two split faces? Step into your power. Stop being so fucking nice. This person wasn't nice, wasn't thinking about you or thoughtful about anybody when they was doing all of this. This person was doing this shit out of selfish greed. Like, this is, I don't even know, this is a demon. You were dealing with a demon for real. If somebody ever called you a demon, they're the fucking demon for real, okay? Yeah, so just fuck them, fuck it, and we're going to keep it moving, all right? Let's get your moonology. Because what the fuck? And look, well, at least we under our. <laughs> my gosh, my nose is running bad. Ugh. See if I get to Capricorn. It's like spiritual release right here. All right, Divine Holy Spirit, let's close this out. What do we have for Sag? I got a lot to do, so it might just be y'all for today. Yeah, believe in the impossible. Believe in yourself, okay? Maybe you ain't want to believe this, right? Maybe you thought it was impossible for this person to... Maybe, you know, you under... Uh, what is it? Undermined Yeah. You didn't believe that this person would be capable of or would do this to you or would even do stuff like this. Yeah, believe it. It was possible. They did it, Okay. Final messages here for our lovely Sagittarius. Ooh, I love seeing that card, especially right now, child. We have bring love into the situation, okay? And I feel like, you know, that love that was brought in, like somebody could have came in and like truly embraced you or opened your eyes or made you realize something here. Hell, it could have been the child making you realize, you know, something about a situation or you as a person, right? Um... So my Aquarius is that free energy, that freedom, okay? Detaching. I feel like, you know, when you detach from the situation, I feel like you also could have told this person no. And it, and it was because, like, essentially you probably really couldn't do something, okay? And they got pissed off and you thought that they would understand. And that's when you realized that they were fake and they were never for you. Because I feel like you really could not do or give whatever it was that this person needed. Like, no matter how, and like any other day, you would have. But for some reason, you just couldn't in this one given time. And this person just, they they revealed themselves, like, really good to you, okay? And look, I feel like, again, don't repeat it again. They, they've they already showed you multiple times. And I feel like this time around, no. Sorry, not sorry. It's like she did something. It's like he's like, what the fuck? You did that? Yeah, they did that. So don't be sorry. Let this person go. But a fiery climax approaches, full moon and Aries. Yeah, with this full moon, a fiery climax that approaches. But my favorite card to see for you guys is that the end of a tough cycle also approaches, which is that full moon in Capricorn, which is what the full moon is in this weekend. So underneath the deck, yeah, because nothing's going to come out of the situation. All them threats and everything they're trying to do is all going to backfire on that person. All right, Sag, you need to know that. I love you guys, okay? Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm going to leave it here for you, okay? And my phone's about to die. And I'm about to go out here and get ready to celebrate. Um, but as always, I love your face, but not as much as I love you. So until the next time we speak, peace out.